We waited years for Microsoft to launch its Surface tablets in India and it's taken even longer for the Surface Book and Surface Laptop to arrive. This family of devices is meant to showcase Windows to the best possible extent. They're all unapologetically premium, but more than that, they're genuinely fresh and interesting. Of all the Surface devices, the Surface Laptop is the most ordinary. It isn't a two-in-one and doesn't have a fancy engineered hinge or kickstand. Interestingly, Microsoft had students in mind when it first released the Surface Laptop over a year ago. We wonder though whether this typically budget-constrained group will find this device appealing enough. Everyone who sees photos of the Surface Laptop will want to know how its fabric deck feels, and honestly, it isn't easy to describe. Alcantara is a material that's 68% polyester and 32% polyurethane, and it's a bit like suede with a slightly waxy coating. It isn't perfectly smooth, but it doesn't have the texture of cloth either. It didn't fray or come undone even when we scratched it hard, and it's molded like plastic around the keyboard tray. The material is supposed to be resistant to spills and stains, and Microsoft even says it can be cleaned with warm water and mild soap. This isn't very reassuring, and we can't yet say how well it will hold up to long-term use, especially for people like us who tend to use our gadgets while eating. It's worth pointing out that there's one major downside to this fabric. It's permanently stuck onto the metal chassis. The only way to repair or replace anything is to rip it off with a knife, and it's not going back on after that. As for the rest of this laptop, it's fairly minimalist. The lid is a simple matte silver with a prominent and highly reflective Windows logo in the center. People who see you with this laptop open will definitely notice it. The lid is pretty thin and it does bend and flex under pressure, but surprisingly there's no distortion whatsoever on the screen. The hinge is sunken and completely hidden under the fabric layer. It feels firm and the lid didn't fall even if it was left just barely open. Overall, the Surface Laptop seems to be built very well. The lack of connectivity will be a huge concern for many buyers. The Surface Laptop is even more minimalist than the MacBook Air with only a single USB 3 port, a 3.5mm audio socket and a mini display port for video output. There isn't even an SD card slot. Many ultra portables don't have a lot of ports, but in this day and age we would have expected at least USB Type-C and preferred Thunderbolt 3. At least the USB Type-A port is more common and some people will prefer this. Your only relief comes in the form of Microsoft's Surface Connector, the tab-like port on the right used by the bundle charger, which also supports Microsoft's Surface Dock. This accessory will give you four more USB 3 ports, two more mini display ports, gigabit ethernet, and another audio connector, but it's listed for 17,560 rupees online, which is an absurd amount to pay for an accessory. The Surface Laptop's keyboard is the right size and has decent key travel, but felt a little too mushy for our liking and also flexed in the middle. Still, we were able to type quickly and accurately within no time. The white backlighting is also subtle and useful, and there are three brightness levels to choose from. The keyboard has one major quirk, which is the placement of the power button. Microsoft obviously wanted the delete key to be in the corner above backspace, but we found ourselves likely to hit the power button by accident. The function row has been displaced by the paging keys and various shortcuts, but you can swap the key's primary and secondary roles by simply tapping the function modifier once, which is quite convenient. Although the trackpad is large and smooth, the mechanism is stiff and shallow. It also seemed to decide that we were right-clicking far more often than we actually wanted to. The Surface Laptop is only 14.47mm thick at its thickest point and weighs only 1.25 kilos. It's super portable and super convenient to whip out of a sling bag or backpack. The only thing you get in the box with the laptop is its proprietary 44 watt charger and we love its integrated USB port. You might not have enough ports on the laptop itself, but at least you can charge your phone on the go. Microsoft is selling the Surface Laptop in five different configurations in India, ranging in price from 86,999 rupees to 2,33,999 rupees. We're reviewing the variant priced at 1,14,999 rupees, which has a Core i5 processor, 8 GB of RAM, and 256 GB of storage. Considering that the RAM and SSD are soldered to the motherboard and there's no access to them anyway, you're going to want to factor in your future requirements right from the start. The touchscreen measures 13.5 inches diagonally but has a unique old-school 3x2 aspect ratio. The resolution is completely non-standard at 2256 by 1504 and makes for a density of 201 pixels per inch. Windows 10 scales to 150% by default and we found this to be comfortable and crisp. The screen is great for reading web pages and working on documents. It's bright and vibrant and pretty much every video file and stream we tried to watch looked great. There are, of course, thick black bands when watching most video content, which can be quite distracting because of how reflective the glass is. The biggest problem we faced with this was games. Some titles simply are not designed to scale to non-standard aspect ratios. This might not be a two-in-one, but the touchscreen can still come in handy. 
We didn't wind up using touch a lot, but it's always nice to have. The Surface Pen is supported, but won't be particularly comfortable to use. One thing that we don't often see, even on premium laptops, is an ambient light sensor, which means that brightness adjusts itself automatically. Above the screen is also a 720p webcam and the sensors needed to support Windows Hello face recognition. Stereo speakers are embedded beneath the keyboard. Our review unit was running Windows 10 Pro, but the Surface Laptop actually ships with Windows 10 in S mode. This is a restricted mode that only lets you install apps from the Microsoft Store and also forces you to use Microsoft Edge and Bing. S mode can be disabled permanently as long as you find an option that's buried in the Microsoft Store, but you can only do this once and it's not reversible. This might confuse first-time buyers. General performance was pretty much faultless. We had no trouble at all with multiple heavy sites open in browser tabs with other programs running in the background. Our usual benchmarks gave us decent results for a mainstream laptop. Graphics tests and games did not do as well thanks to the basic integrated graphics capabilities of the Intel CPU. Playing modern 3D games is completely out of the question. While the Surface Laptop was practically silent even under heavy load, it did get a little warm. The wrist rest area was fine, but the keyboard itself, especially in the upper middle, got a bit toasty. The Surface Laptop's 14.5 hour battery life claim seems to be accurate. We started our day with a full battery and with casual web surfing and typing plus a bit of video streaming with the screen brightness adjusted automatically, we were only down to about 85% in 2 hours. The Battery Eater Pro stress test that we run lasted for 2 hours 27 minutes which isn't bad at all for such a thin and light laptop. Microsoft has designed a very good looking laptop. It delivers solid performance for everyday tasks as well as great battery life while still being slim and light. It feels extremely premium and will definitely grab eyeballs. However, the focus seems to have been a bit too narrow. The looks come at the cost of common usability issues such as only having a single USB port and not being able to upgrade or replace any parts. That brings us to the matter of pricing which also severely restricts the appeal of this laptop. You can do better in terms of performance and portability for 1,14,999 rupees. For example, the Lenovo Yoga 730 costs exactly the same and weighs just 1.12 kilos but has a better processor, double the storage and two Thunderbolt 3 ports even though it has a slightly inferior Full HD screen. You could also consider the Dell XPS 9370 or HP Spectre X360 which cost around the same amount. The higher-end variants of the Surface Laptop have even narrower appeal, and at that price level you can get the much more interesting Surface Book 2. This was our review of the newly launched Microsoft Surface Laptop. Thanks for watching, and for more reviews and videos like this, do visit us at gadgets360.com.